Next question, data sufficiency. Data sufficiency. So data sufficiency, first I'll list out the process. So you have to solve the question with respect to first statement information and you have to solve the question with respect to second statement information individually. First statement inf information you have to solve individually. Second statement information you have to solve individually. If you are unable to get the answer, then you have to combine. If you are unable to get the answer, then you have to combine. By combining also, you may get the answer. You might not get the answer. OK, yeah, look at the options carefully and uh, mark the answer. First option, statement two alone is sufficient. Second option, both statements put together are sufficient. Third option, both statements even put together are not sufficient. Fourth option, either of the statements is sufficient. Not sufficient, huh? yeah, super guys. So this is from data sufficiency. Data sufficiency means whatever they have given that information now, uh, whether it is sufficient to answer the question or not, we have to check. OK, so they will be giving two statements, guys. The process is you have to check with respect to. Yeah, five parties are given, but only they're talking about three parties. That is a like simple information. So you have to check with respect to first statement. If you get the answer, then fine. If you are not getting the answer with second and if you're getting the answer with one, then you have to pick statement one alone is sufficient to answer. If you are getting the answer with second statement and if you are not getting with one, then you have to pick statement two alone is sufficient. If you are getting answer with both, then either of the statements is sufficient. If you are not getting answer with both, combined either you get the answer or you are not getting the answer. But process is like uh, you have to check individually first of all, okay? Out of five parties, which party won the election? And checking with respect to first statement information, party X got least number of votes. You know which party is least, but what about remaining four parties and uh, what about the party which won the election? That information is not there in option, like statement one. So you can't answer the question with statement one. Statement one is not giving you the answer. Let's go for statement two. When you are solving with statement two, don't combine uh, initially. Solve with statement two information. Statement two is saying uh, party Y got 100 more votes than party Z. Party Y got 100 more votes than party Z means uh, only it is talking about Y and Z. It is not talking about the remaining three parties when you talk about the second statement. So second statement is also not giving you the answer. Sorry, yes. Uh, party Y and Z, when they're talking about the second statement, they are uh, uh, not talking about the remaining three parties. So you can't answer it second also. Now you can combine both and try to answer even though you combine both X, Y, Z out of them. You can tell who is uh, first, second, third, but they're talking about five parties. Simply you can't answer the question even though you put both the statements together. Both the statements even put together are not sufficient in answering the question. Both the statements even put together are not sufficient in answering the question. OK, so what is the answer for the question? What is the answer for the question? Option C. What is the answer for the question? Option C. OK. Let's go for the next.
how many are there? 40, okay. 40 are there guys, let's finish 40. 22, eight more questions. Uh, this is also the same process, like the process which we used. Simply MS Office, uh, how you draw paint in your first year of BTEC using MS Office? The same. So, open computer. Go to programs, select the paint, draw a picture, save it as file, and then print. Go to computers uh, or open computer, select uh, programs. Windows version is different. Select programs and select MS Office Paint and uh, Paint whatever you have drawn that will be on the screen guys. You can't directly give a print. Even though if you're trying to give print, it will ask what you have to give it as a print. So you have to save that paint as a document or otherwise a picture or otherwise file. So in computer language, anything which you store that can be called as document or file. Either it is picture or voice SMS or video clip or whatever it is that can be called as document or file, okay? So you have to save that as document, then only you can print. Directly, if you want to give a print, it will ask which you wanted to give as print. So 2, 3, 4, 1, 5, option B. 2, 3, 4, 1, 5, option B. Let me help you to understand uh, if you give some other answer options, because these uh, questions are like little tricky, but not difficult. These questions are little tricky, but not difficult. Okay. So first you will open the computer. Next, go to programs. Next, select paint. And then after that, whatever the picture you paint, save it as a file or save it as a picture or save it as a document. And then you will be giving print. Okay. Got that right? How is option B? Everybody? Shall we move for the next? Any doubts? Any doubts? Shall we move for the next? See, it's all about uh, how we approach the question. When we understand what is the standard method, we will change our approach. So these questions are like that. We keep on solving more number of questions in this path and uh, we have to check whether we are thinking in the right direction or not. Okay, no worries. Let's go for the next. Totally we have 40. Please finish them so that we can end the session now. Eight, nine exactly. So data sufficiency again. This year on which day Rohit birthday fall? His birthday falls between 27th October and 30. 27 being Tuesday. His birthday is not on Thursday. So, try answering the question with respect to first statement information. When means you have to answer exactly when is his birthday. With date, month. Date of birth is different. Uh, birthday is different. Birthday doesn't need year. Yeah, birthday doesn't need year, guys. Only month, day and date. That's it. Date of birth is different. They are asking birthday. So, 
you need month date and day clearly only date is not enough only day is not enough you need month date and day try it with first option and uh, check whether you can get the answer or not try it with second option and check whether you can get the answer or not Okay. Yeah. So first, uh, let's try with first one. Rohit birthday falls uh, between October 27 and 30. October 27 being Tuesday. Between October 27 and 30 means uh, after 27 and before 30. Okay. In these dates. After 27 and before 30 means. It can be on 28th, it can be on 29th and they are saying uh, 27 being a Tuesday. If 27 is Tuesday, 28 is Wednesday, 29 is Thursday and 30th is nothing but Friday. Okay, 27 is Tuesday, 28 is Wednesday, 29th is Thursday, 30th is nothing but Friday. But can you say when is Rohit birthday? Actually, no. It can be 28th Wednesday or it can be 29th Thursday. So... You are having two dates. You can't answer the question with respect to first statement information. Let's try solving the question in second statement. Second statement that actually it is not having anything guys. If his birthday is not on Thursday, it can be on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If his birthday is not on Thursday, there are six more days. So in six more days, it can be any one day. Okay. So second statement is also not sufficient. When you look at second statement, try solving the question with only second statement information. Let's not mix up the first statement information. Okay. So let's try solving the question with respect to only second statement information. So with second statement also, you are not getting the answer. Now, as you are not getting the answer with first statement information and second statement information individually, try combining both and get the answer. So it is not on Thursday. It is on 28th or 29th, Wednesday or Thursday. Not on Thursday means this is not your answer. This is your answer. So 28th of October being Wednesday. 28th October, Wednesday is your answer. 28th October, Wednesday is your answer. Okay. Combining both the statements, you can answer the question. Combining both the statements, you can answer the question. Option C. Both the statements put together are sufficient. Option C, both the statements put together are sufficient. 